healing diet. And there are many different clinics around the world that that is their focus, is to put people with terminal illnesses on raw food diets and the illness completely goes away. I was 12 when I first noticed it. The psoriasis, I believe, started from when I was a kid and I was eating shitty food. I had dandruff, but it was like a constant dandruff. It was flaky and it would scab and it was just gross. Started incorporating more raw foods in my diet and I noticed a bunch of changes in myself, like my digestion was much better, um, my psoriasis was clearing up. I just felt better as a, like, a whole. So then I uh, switched and I went all raw and I don't think I'll ever go back. raw food is bland because they think when they think of cooking you know you walk into your room and it smells good because someone's cooking something um, but I mean you can have very tasty raw food because when you dehydrate something it sucks the water content out of it so the flavors condense. Have you ever noticed like eating a dry fruit compared to the regular food, fruit is much sweeter than the regular fruit because all the sugars are condensed. If you want to make a gourmet meal and you want to mimic something that's cooked, you're going to need a dehydrator for that. But you could also use an oven too. You just want to make sure that you temperature gauge your oven to see what setting is under 118 degrees. And um, you're more than likely going to need, well you have to keep it open a little bit so it doesn't get too hot in there. One reason why you want to make sure you soak your nuts is because the nuts have an enzyme inhibiting coating around them so that it's harder for your body to digest and you won't be able to get those nutrients that you need from the nut because of the coating that's around them. If you eat a raw nut without soaking it to get that coating off, you're not really doing anything. Another reason is, is that when you sprout things, they go from carbs to proteins. So buckwheat, when you sprout it, goes from a 10% protein to a 90% protein. I get my protein from sprouts. I get my protein from dark leafy green vegetables. I've never had a protein deficiency since I've been raw.
restaurants for years and I've always felt bad because I'm selling people food that I don't eat and that I don't think is good for them and so I'm finally at a place where I can I you know I love it I love being able to give people healthy food